Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is an overview video from Bangalore to Andaman. So we reached Andaman around 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. This is a view captured 15 minutes before landing in the Vir Savarkar airport that is located in the city of Port Blair. The view from the left side corner of the flight is uh, as seen. It looks very beautiful. As you can see the islands. And uh, the first resort that we reached was Palm Grove Echo Resort. This resort is very beautiful and budget friendly as I can say because we uh, got this resort for 1000 rupees per night. The ambience there was very good, the food quality was very good and the rooms were clean and tidy along with good air conditioning as well. So I would rate this resort a 3.8 on 5, I can tell. And I would give uh, the details of the resort in description box for you to check. And in case you want to make any bookings, please refer to my upcoming videos as there are many discounts that can be applied to obtain or to book any kind of resorts in Andaman and Nicoba. So we took a ferry to travel from Port Blair to Havelock Island that was the cruise Green Ocean which costed 1500 per head. Uh, we have many other ships uh, as well uh, such as Macruise and Nautica but we referred Green Ocean as we can have an outer look of the sea as well. Uh, whereas in other cruises like uh, Green Ocean, uh, like Gonautica and my cruise, we don't have facility of going outside and having a view of the beach. But in a Green Ocean, we really enjoyed the trip from uh, Port Blair to Havelock Island. I would refer you guys to go with Green Ocean Cruise as uh, they allow us to have outer look of the beach which is not available in the other ferries like Go Nautica or the Macros. This is how the outer look looks. It is really beautiful as you can enjoy the nature and the outer look of the beach. So the third resort that we visited in the Havelock Island was the Pelican Beach Resort. This resort usually costs you around 3000 rupees per night. However, as we booked the resort on the GoIBibo app, we got a discount of 500 and we could book the resort for 2500 per night. The resort is very beautiful as you can see. You have different rooms, deluxe rooms, luxury rooms. So the one that we chose was the deluxe room that costed us 2500 per night. You can have great uh, photo shoots in this resort as it looks very beautiful. The ambience of the resort is very good. It is very clean and tidy. This is the best budget friendly resort I could tell. You have a good friendly staff, a clean and tidy rooms as well. It's filled with greenery. You have a beach inside the resort as you move forward. I would rate a 4.5 on 5 for this resort as uh, the only drawback for this resort is that you don't have food available inside the resort. You will have to step out of the resort for your breakfast, lunch or dinner. As you move forward, uh, you can see that there are many trees all around and there is a beach that is inside the resort. So the details for booking this resort also will be given in the description box along with the discount that is available. You can um, refer the link that is provided in the description box and avail the offer to book the resort. 
So as you go forward, you can see the beautiful view of the beach that is inside the resort. So this is Vijayanagar Beach that is located in Havelock Island. This video was uh, taken around in during the sunrise that was at 5.45 or 5.30 a.m. I suppose as uh, in Andaman. The sunrise would be around 5.30 and the sunset would be around 5.30 p.m. In my next upcoming videos, I will be mentioning about uh, the water sports available in Havelock Island, such as scuba diving and snorkeling and various such activities. So this is the beautiful view of the Pelican Beach Resort in the Havelock Island. So the overall experience of travel from Bangalore to Andaman was very beautiful, I could tell. It was adventurous as well. As you can see, there are many trees. It is best place for the nature lovers as they can have great view of the sunrise and sunset over the beach. We also had a photo shoot in this beach. There are a few pictures here. So this was picture captured after the scuba dive. And these are some of pictures captured in the Vijayanagar beach. So the ferry details will be provided in the next upcoming videos. Please support, like, share and subscribe. Next we travel to the Salula Jail that is in the Port Blair and stayed in the Hotel Marina Manor after which we departed from Port Blair. So the overall experience was very beautiful and all the details of the scuba dive of the pictures captured and of the ferries taken the timings along with uh, the uh, websites that we referred to uh, make bookings of the ferries and also the details about the government ferries will be provided in the next video so please do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and also uh, please comment on what kind of videos you would prefer to watch so that would encourage me to create more such videos thank you for watching the video please like share and subscribe to my channel